Alrighty, uh, pressing C to crouch, good, yeah, I would personally enjoy if I had the option to make it toggleable in the options menu, uh, let's see, settings, oh, that's graphics, key bindings, and gameplay, this is going to have to be worked on. Crouch. Uh, I would like an option off to somewhere in here. That um, would allow me to make the crouch mechanic something I can just press the button. And it stays crouched. Or with that option off. It's just holding the button. Uh, jump. Same deal. Auto jump. Toggleable on and off. That way. Pressing the space bar to jump. You can just hold it and continuously jump. Now, let's see, about moving this around so that it's less, um, <laughs> packed together, as it were. Forward, left, back, and right. This is, um, this is smushed together right now. So, adding a, adding more lines down, uh, actually more lines going across, but breaking this up into just one option, W for forward, uh, gamepad, whatever, on this menu, it'll solve the problem of clustering everything together there. But you'll have to add a menu slider that works off the um, mouse wheel so that people can scroll through this menu. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> Gamma. <laughs> brightness setting. My only problem with that so far is that the little green glowing icon for where you drop things gets easily um, blended in to certain areas of the game, uh, certain textures, not textures, but certain colors on things that are close to white, and it just blends right in. So that little uh, marker would need, well, what, what would it need? It would need a way to be contrasted against the environment a lot better, as far as that's concerned with the, the game's graphics. Right now, uh, those things really aren't much of a problem. Just something to keep in mind. Also, uh, I have gotten my first million hydro coin gold bar didn't take very long well that's it for this one <clears throat> just threw that bit in at the uh, end about the gold bar because why not a bunch of other people have made a million 
hydro coin gold bar and or and or necklace and sold it i'm trying to hit a billion um which brings me to another point the writing uh for the values on those two indicators is going off the area it's intended to be on and on to the um the rest of the uh weighing device and scales i guess i'll call it a scale that is going to be a nuisance to read later on I'm not quite sure what to suggest to help fix that. Because making the text on it, the numbers smaller, is just going to make it harder to read. One idea is... Why not make it a, a different system, the, the scales in-game? Why not make that a different system? Um, instead of it being uh, that wooden beam in between the two columns, put the wooden beam in front of both columns that reads out the... Um, values for how much it weighs and how many hydro coins it sells for. That way it gives you more room on the front of it because you'll be going across the extra space in front of those two columns as opposed to in between them. It'll give you more room for the numbers. That would change the aesthetic appeal not massively but it's definitely something to think about or another idea is to change the model for the scales entirely um, the only real problem I have with the scales is the numbers coming off the front of it instead of being well contrasted and readable blending into the um what is it the mesh for the model of the scales itself now the numbers are free floating they're just clipping through it Okay, that, that's a whole new problem. Having the numbers clip through the, um, that second column on the, uh, scales, that's gonna be a problem. It's gonna be a moderate problem, problem not a severe one. <coughs> So, short-term solution, uh, well, solution for that particular problem would be to put the uh, display just in front of both columns, to where it goes all the way across them and doesn't clip through them. Um, second idea, which is also for having to either crouch down and look at the scales or put the scales on top of a uh, elevated surface box, a uh, different floor, a table, etc. That's, that's also a, a whole new problem. I don't know how many people don't want to look at the scales by crouching down, but if you put them up on a table then you're going to have to jump up to drop the uh, bar or whatever on top of it. 
and the bars of iron, gold, cladium, the uh, power shard bars, it's all fine. The real problem is the uh, compressed large emeralds, rubies, and sapphire, I believe, because they like to tumble off of it. So raising the display on the scales so that you don't have to bend over and look at it would solve that particular problem as well as it being so far down and because I'm playing on a small monitor it's just that problem there some people may be fine with crouching down to read it I have no idea I'm not everyone else but the current problem I have is with reading the number because it's clipping through the model in game also you could actually take the front panel with the numbers reading out on it and give it like a 45 degree tilt and do a bit of redesigning on the cylinders make them smaller that way when you bring it forward towards the player from where I'm looking at it right now here. most people respond better with graphical uh, reinforcement of what's being said taking that panel making it wider to cover uh, right in here all the way across to right here where my finger ends covering the cylinders in the model for the uh, scales and decreasing the size of those two cylinders and tilting the panel 45 degrees to where the bottom is closer to you and the top is closer to this little line right here yeah this little line right across here that way it's easier to read when you just look down at it it wouldn't throw off the aesthetics that currently are in place that much And then there's the physics problem with the with the um, large gemstones that have been compressed, and when I drop them on it, they always like to roll off. I had an idea for that. Um, portal funneling. If you're familiar with that, basically in the game Portal, you got the portal and there's an invisible, uh, I don't think it's a subroutine, but it's a funnel that makes your character go from whatever edge into the center so that you're always going dead center of the portal and coming out on the other portal dead center makes the gameplay a bit more smooth so you could use a variation of the funnel uh, there I go mixing words a variation of the portal funneling um, program script whatever you want to call it so that it doesn't just move it so that it holds whatever item in place until you pick it up I really don't want to go that far because that's a lot of extra programming. But for the um, for the smelters, for the uh, funnels that you place above them to get the resources down into them, that could work 
Also for the, what is it, the harvester that grinds the dirt chunks down into the raw uh, bits that come out. That would greatly help because I'm having a lot of spillage problems with the harvester. <clears throat> Me using um, those wooden rails didn't help. <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, the wooden rails, putting two of those funnels, uh, the end game funnels, uh, didn't help. I'm still having spillage issues with that. Now, I've sat there and watched for a few minutes as the um, dirt chunks rolled into it. It's, uh, it's a physics problem. Well, it's only a problem for the person playing. It's, it's, um, it's not really a problem. It's, um, it's that there's no portal funneling, as it were, put in place to make sure that all of the resources, dirt chunks in this case, falling into it, get into it. That could also be a problem because I've got 10 RAND drills. They all put things onto the belt, then the belt goes through, uh, three grinders three the three grinders are spaced apart with one centralizing belt in between all of them then it goes through a final centralizing belt which spits it out into the funnel the funnel definitely needs the portal funneling mechanic Another thing, I'm going to have to remove my character around here and show what I'm talking about. Another thing with the, uh, I forgot what they're called, those things that uh, take in and filter out resources. When I had them spaced with uh, just one going right in the other instead of with one belt between them. I noticed that they were spitting resources out at nearly a 45 degree angle, which was causing massive spillage problems for me in the smelting area there. So I spaced them out and I removed the extra funnels and so now they're perfectly fine. That's uh, that's all some things have been working on. Still leads me to believe that the physics engine has uh, some tweaks it needs. Especially with those uh, funnels. I think this issue with the harvester that grinds the uh, dirt chunks down into the resources has been ongoing. It looks like a physics issue. But I'm pretty sure that it's something else entirely. Like the speed at which it takes in resources on the top of it as well as portal funneling I'm pretty sure it's the speed at which it takes in resources 
I've got the right amount of um, uh, pressure modules, whatever they're actually called in game. I haven't bothered memorizing most of it yet. Most of what I've been doing is observing how the game's mechanics function. Which would be coding. Think of it like a doctor running diagnostics. I don't have the hardware on a cheap $200 laptop or the software to run two screens and have the second screen just running the um, C++, C Sharp, C Studios, whatever script that the game's running on and compare it that way. So I have to use what I have, which is observing what happens in game, comparing it to what I know and running my own differential diagnosing. So the, the harvester has either got a physics issue, which would include the portal funneling mechanic, or it has an issue with taking in resources at a an accelerated rate because breaking down all those chunks into the smallest possible ones to feed directly into it it's got a lot to handle from 10 ram drills and each of those chunks is getting broken down so that's a lot to handle now would it help if it's not already implemented into the coding for that particular in-game object, would it help if you provide it with a buffer that stores how many of what size of dirt chunk so that it can take in resources nearly instantly and then it processes and spits them out? Would it help to put in a buffer in the coding for that. And given that um, writing such coding would be three bitches worth of coding to do, I'm just trying to spit out ideas so that the one that um, that works the most efficiently with not too much effort as far as coding goes can be implemented. It's always those harvesters. So far, it's always been those harvesters that have had spillage problems. I saw a YouTube video of one fellow who took four angled slats and made his own funnel which initially led me to believe it's a physics problem could be that the hole where it takes in resources is too small in the game's processing routines Or that the top of the model, its collision mesh is bouncing pieces off because the hole is too small. Either way, coding in a solution is going to be three bitches worth of work.
I don't have the experience to make a, a suggestion for that right now as to which course of action to follow. Best I can do with my current limited experience and knowledge in these sort of things is to say, here's a few ideas, pick which one works the best. Also, the problem with the um, large gemstones falling off of the scales. That one's pretty much, I'm 90% sure that one's a physics problem. Adding in a buffer zone just above the scales that uh, holds the items in place. Portal funneling, to put it in referential terminology. Seems like the best course of action based on the limited knowledge and experience I have. But definitely need a change to the in-game model for the scales something that's easier to read and has enough space for all the numbers that um, that I'd like to cram onto it. Going to a billion hydro coins worth of uh, a gold ingot, that's going to be a lot of work. Not as much as writing the code to fix everything. Well, I say fix, but right now it's actually uh, quality of gameplay improvement. That's it for this video. Again, I'm not saying these things because I'm bashing on the game or anything. If that's not abundantly clear, I need to make it more abundantly clear. To the point where it hurts people psychologically. Because there are assholes out there that will take everything out of context if possible. They used to be called trolls. Now they're just called social justice warriors. That's it for this time. Till next time. Toodles.